What's up everybody, Tactical Bearded Dad here, and we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, this is gonna be a video in several different parts just as we go along and as we get stuff in, as we decide what we're gonna do, all that type of stuff. But what we're gonna do is, um, I am taking one of the most budget-friendly 2011s that are out there right now, um, which is the Apollo 11. This is like 875, something like that, 900, just depending on where you get it from. Um, but if you need one, make sure to hit up Carbon Gun Company. Um, two I got it from. I also got the new m and um, But make sure to hit them up. Uh, let them know that I sent you, and they will get you taken care of. But not everybody can afford five, six, seven thousand dollar 2011s. Not everybody can afford two thousand dollar 2011s. But we're going to take this one and we're going to upgrade it. We're going to look at grips. We're going to look at triggers. We're going to look at internals. We're going to look at base pads. We're going to look at, you know, uh, slide stops. We're going to look at everything that's kind of out there and I'm just gonna kinda take you along with me and we're gonna check them out. But this is the Apollo 11. Um, right off the bat, it's not a bad gun. Um, the slide, you know, it, it does what it's supposed to. You know, again, it's not no crazy fitment. It's got some wiggle to it. Um, I will tell you, we will be porting because I poured everything pretty much. I love it. Um, but, we will be changing out the grip. The grip is one of the main things that I hate the most. I mean, just, you can tell it's cheap plastic um, compared to something like the MJD Solutions grip that is a lot stronger, um, doesn't have any flex to it, or maybe we're gonna do the new um, BG grip that I just got in. This is the steel one and I'm rocking the Hayes Magwell on it. Um, these can accept Chili Magwells. So maybe we do that because I think this right here would be kind of cool and just leave it the way it looks. Um, but I don't know yet. I'm trying to decide. Um, but I just want to kind of take y'all along on this journey, show you what I'm going to be doing, see what we can have fun with and just kind of show you what you can do to some of these and make it your own, have fun doing it, learn how to do stuff as you're going, because a lot of this stuff, you can do it with just a little bit of time, a little bit of patience. Um, YouTube is a great place to look at. Um, Atlas does a lot of great videos of showing you how things should be, stuff like that. So we're just going to have some fun with it. Um, I don't know what I'll do at the end with it, but we will be kind of playing around with it. We're also going to be going over the Apollo 11. We're going to be going over some new base plates that I have gotten um, from Continuous Precision. They are very nice. We've got ones for the, uh, this is a plus three. We've got the 20 round. We've got the 17. They make them for Glocks. They make them for the CES. They make them for ARs, the Lancer, the PMAGs. They make them for everything. So we're going to be checking it out. We're going to have some fun doing it um, and just kind of go from there. But as always, hope y'all are having a great weekend and hope to see you at the range.